Hello. Uh, I thought I'll show you some of the classical music albums that I have found. Um, well, the last couple of days, but also uh, when I was up north in Luleå, I found three quite nice classical albums. Uh, I thought I'd put these in a special video for those who aren't very interested. You, they can simply skip this video. And those who like to have a look at classical albums, they could check this out. Right, first of all, I'm going to begin with something that I don't really collect and don't really want in my collection, but for some reason, that may soon be obvious to you, I decided to buy it anyway. And it's this album here. <clears throat> Uh, it's a His Monster's Voice album, uh, King's College Choir from Cambridge, directed by Stephen Cleobury, uh, singing Allegris Miserere. And Allegris Miserere is the reason why I bought this. This piece of music was, was actually a very well guarded secret, uh, closely guarded secret. Uh, that all, and only a few highly priced copies were made before 1770. And this was written long before that. Uh, trying to find... Well, Allegri died in 1652, so obviously it had been a very closely guarded secret um, before 1770. Then, a young Mozart her, was one of the few who, who um, um, got invited to listen to this music piece. And the young 14-year-old whippersnapper actually copied the whole music piece, uh, uh, learned it by, by ear, and then could write it out and make it available to the other uh, listeners. So, first of all, Mozart heard what a glorious music piece it is. And, of course, being the total utter genius he was, musical genius, he wanted the rest of the world to hear it as well. So thank you, Mozart. Um, the thing I don't like about this record is that it's a digital recording. It's from 1984, but I haven't found any uh, other recording of uh, um, this uh, music piece on vinyl. I've got CD copies but it's the vinyl that I like and, and digital classical music on vinyl in the 80s was not a really good idea the digital recording was made for CDs not for vinyl okay let's move on or this uh, video will be incredibly long okay <clears throat> during the 1970s EMI decided to reissue um, a lot of old um, classical recordings from the EMI catalog in Sweden uh, uh, on this series Önske Klassike, which have this kind of greyish, silver grey uh, style of sleeve. Uh, this is Bach's uh, Toccata and Fugue in D minor, uh, Fernando Germani on organ at the Royal Festival Hall in London. These were budget issues and as collector's items, they are incredibly easy to find, at least in Sweden, and not very valuable. But still, you have to understand that the recordings on, on uh, these albums are the old, well-made recordings. There's nothing budget about the recordings. It's, it's the issues that uh, were uh, a bit cheaper. And this was originally recorded in 1960. But uh, was the, most of these were issued around 1977, 79, seven, around those years. So uh, I found a whole bunch of these Önske Klassiker issues, so I thought I'm going to show you another, some others. The Bath Festival Chamber Orchestra, conducted by Yehudi Menuhin, also a recording from 1960s. Uh, Brandenburg Concerto, 1, 2, 3, and 4, 5, 6, also on the same... Uh, EMI, his master's voice, Önske Klassike. Okay. Another EMI, uh, his master's voice, but not Önske Klassike, but Bach. Igor Kipnis, uh, Bach, Italienische Konzert, Französische Overture. <coughs> he plays the harpsichord. 
or Chambolo, as it's called on the sleeve. <clears throat> Over to an older issue from 1964, uh, Beethoven, uh, Paul Badura Skoda uh, on piano, the Vienna State Opera Orchestra conducted by Hermann Schöken. I think that's how you pronounce it. Piano Concerto Number no. 1 in C Major. This was issued by uh, the World Record Club. And that's, I think that's, they, they are connected to EMI uh, um, in some way or another. I seem to recall that anyway. Okay. And another Beethoven, Ludwig van Beethoven, Symphony Number no. 2 and Number no. 4. Uh, Symphonie Orchester der no Deutschen Rundfunks von Hamburg, Hamburg uh, directed by or conducted by Pierre Monteux. This is on the Concert Hall label. And these Concert Hall and uh, MMS, Musical Masterpiece Society, are uh, not the best recordings. They were budget issues of, of their time. But they still, they have. I think they have quite a charm, and also for the the price I paid for them, I think they're all right. Often they have very nice sleeves too. So, uh, yeah, I get back to to those one. This is a concert concert hall, is it? I keep mixing the, them up. Yeah, it's the concert hall issue. And speaking about budget issue or club issues. Decca had a uh, side label uh, for uh, a record club called Ace of Clubs. And I found here Beethoven Symphony No. 5 in D minor, uh, Paris Conservatoire Orchestra, uh, Karl Schuricht. And this is the record name ACL1. So I guess this is the first a a Ace of Clubs uh, issue. Or, unless I'm very mistaken, this is just my assumption because it's number one. Uh, so, very nice to find this. And uh, Decca recordings, of course. Nothing wrong with them. Here's another Önske Klassiker. Uh, Philharmonia Orchestra, London, led by Otto Klemperer. Uh, it's the uh, Ödes Symphony. Well, it's Symphony number no. 5 by, by Beethoven. Da 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 da, you know. A recording from 1960 as well. Uh, yeah, those of you who are into art, who made this painting? It is 100 years ago this year since he died. The Swedish author August Steinberg uh, made this painting. Hmm. Okay, her, uh, well, over to Decca, nice Decca from 1968. Uh, Lolo Symphony Orchestra with the Swedish conductor Sixten Erling, uh, Franz Berwald, Symphony Singulière, Symphony in E flat. Uh, very nice Decca issue with this black, well, it's got the boxed uh, label. The box to Decca, still very nice. Okay, what color break in there? Uh, and over to Decca's budget label or reissue label from 1970s, Decca Eclipse. Uh, this is Vienna Philharmonic Orchestra led by Joseph Cripps playing Brahms Symphony Number no. One. Uh, this issue is from 1972, but the actual recording is from, I think, 1959. Very nice recording. Okay, over to a composer that I hadn't heard about. Carissimi. Carissimi. Uh, if that is a composer, I'm not sure now, actually. This is, anyway, a Turnabout album from 1967. Carissimi Oratorius. Uh, by Spandauer Kantorei, conducted by Hermut, Helmut Rilling. I have to listen to this because this is this is something I have no idea really what it is. I've never heard about Carissimi. So, oh yeah, MMS, which doesn't have anything to do with what you do with your cell phones when you send pictures. 
MMS was a record label that issued uh, classical music. I think it was in some sort of record club. I'm not sure that. Uh, but some sort of record club where you got uh, these issues. And uh, um, the, well, today it's, it's not among the best kind of uh, classical musical vinyl you can find, nor is it very collectible. But uh, and I've been I've been avoiding them more or less. Sometimes I think well, they may be quite good anyway. But uh, I have stopped trying to avoid them. Most of all because some of the sleeves they have are amazing. Uh, this is uh, Chopin, Vladu uh, Perlemutter on piano, uh, clavier Aben. Of course, I don't have to tell you that much about that. What that's all about? Then we got uh, Hamburger Kammer Orchester, led by Hans Jürgen Walter Haydn. Uh, Concert für Trompete uh, und Orchestra, a symphony concertato für Oboe, Fagot, Violin, Cello, and Divertimento in D, dur, D, D major. Uh, quite charming. Uh, sleeves. And I'm sure the music is quite well, quite nice to you. Oh, this is one of the better ones I found. A Decca from 1964. Uh, it's Mr. Mahler's Symphony No. 1, London Symphony Orchestra, led by George Salty. Looks very nice. It has the boxed Decca logo on the label, so I'm not sure whether it's um, original issue or not. It may be a later uh, issue, but it's a very good recording. Okay, some more MMS, and this is a wonderful sleep. Uh, the Theatre National uh, op Opera Orchestra of Paris, uh, of Paris, uh, led by David Yosef Yosefovich. Uh, playing Mendelssohn Symphony Number no. Four in A, uh, in A um, uh, major. Uh, I'm, I'm translating from German to to English directly, uh, which is not simple. Uh, the the whole orchestra or Halle Orchestra, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, led by Sir John Barbarolli, Symphony Number no. One in C minor. And yep. Uh, okay, I've got other ver versions of this one too, but this is. Another Önske Klassiker, uh, New Philharmonia Orchestra London, conducted by Raphael Friebeck de Burgos, Karl Orfs, Camila Burana. Uh, recording from 1966, the album, the actual album is from 1978. And another, another <laughs> Önske Klassiker, Swedish composer William Pettersson Bayer. Frös of Lomster, played by the pianist Stig Ribbing. I have a issue, I think I showed it in, the, in another video of Stig Ribbing playing Petr Schaubay. I thought this was the same album, but uh, different pressing, later pressing. But the, the recordings here were made in 1972, according to the sleeve. So I haven't been able to compare it yet. Ribbing is a great interpreter of uh, Peter Schoenberg. Oh yeah, this is one of the three classical albums I bought up in northern Sweden, in Luleå. Uh, the Philharmonia Orchestra of, of London, from London, conducted by Sir Adrian Bolt. Schubert, Symphony No. 4 in C minor, the tragic symphony, Tragische, and Rosalunde, uh, played by the Pass Padeloup Orchestra, Paris, led by Karl Bambay. And of course, the music is great, but have a look at the sleeve, it's marvelous. And some more MMS. Uh, the Orchestra of the Wiener Staatsoper, led by Victor de Sarsens, and the Orchestra of the Wiener Staatsoper, led by Pierre Michel Lecon. Uh, Clavier Concert, Piano Concerto. Uh, Lili Kraus on piano and cello concerto, Aldo Pariso on cello, Schumann, also very lovely record here. And some more, some more Schumann, 
Symphony Number no. Four in D Minor, played by the Symphony Orchestra Radio Frankfurt, led by Otto Ackermann. I, I just adore these sleeve designs. And another MMS. Oh, this is a beauty. Uh, the Philharmonische Orchestra of Rome, uh, led by Walter Gör, Tchaikovsky Symphony Number no. Five in E Minor. I mean, if if it, if there was jazz on these albums, these were would be great, <laughs> uh, very very sought after. I, I can the name of the sleeve artist seems to be Fitzpatrick. I can see it signed by Fitzpatrick. Does anybody know who, who that Fitzpatrick may be? Because I seem to find the same name on lots of sleeve, sleeves. Here's another Tchaikovsky orchestra. De, the, the Teatro dell'Opera Rome, also led by Walter Gör, uh, the, the Schwanzee, the Swan Lake, uh, Dawn Russian. So, uh, yeah. Okay, lots of MMS here. And some more Önske Classic here. The Nutcracker Suite, of course. Uh, this is a recording made by the Philharmonic Orchestra in London. No, sorry, the Royal Phil Philharmonic Orchestra in London, led by Sir Adrian Bolt. And other orchestras too, playing other uh, music. Hmm? Alright, here we have a, a selection from Verdi's Nabucho. Of course, one of the most beautiful classical music pieces of all time. Uh, Va Pinciero. The Hebrew Slaves Chorus, uh, and this is uh, his master's voice. It's a four-channel stereo LP from 1978. Um, of course, I don't have any possibility to listen to four-channel sound with my stereo, but uh, these, uh, I mean, I can play these on the ordinary turntable as well. Okay. <coughs> Some Wagner. I'm not much into Wagner, but this is a lovely issue on CBS from 1960 something. 60, 63. Early CBS. Uh, Bruno Walter conducts the Columbia Symphony Orchestra. Uh, such a good issue, of course, needed to be bought. I see it with back sleep here. Okay, just three more. Another in the Önske Classical series, a collection of Nordic uh, classical music by Hugo Alvén, Edvard Grieg, Jean Sibelius, Carl Nilsson. It's Sweden, Denmark, Finland, and, and uh, no, sorry, Sweden, Norway, Finland, and Denmark. That's how it is. Uh, then we have this, another in the Önske Classical series, but with a white sleeve. Um, Midsom of Alka, that's a Swedish rhapsody by Hugo Alvén, Sibelius Finlandia, and Grieg's Piano Concerto. Whenever I hear the Piano Concerto by Grieg, I just keep thinking of this famous sketch, uh, comedy sketch by Morgan Weiss and Andrew, Andrew Previn. I had I almost said Andrew Preview. Um, um, well, never mind. That's not important here. It's a Bournemouth Symphony Orchestra, conducted by Pablo Berlund and John Ogden on piano, New Philharmonia Orchestra, uh, uh, also conducted by Pablo Weyer. So, great Nordic music on this one. Something to play uh, around midsummer, I think. Right, and um, well, speaking about Andrew, <laughs> Andrew Previn, Previn, or however you pronounce his name, we got a Andrew Previn here, record here with uh, uh, and uh, John Williams. Uh, playing Prevence uh, Guitar Concerto and Pons Concerto del, del Sur uh, together with London Symphony Orchestra. And those of you who are familiar with these issues, this is a CBS four channel uh, issue uh, since this golden frame here. Um, and uh, it's quadruf quadraphonic, as they say. Uh, so and it's the same. I can't really play and enjoy the quadraphonic sound, although I can uh, enjoy the stereophonic sound of these. Okay. Thanks for hanging in there, and uh, have a good day. Bye-bye.